Welcome. I am Scott Smith, coming to you from the LG Digital Studio at Georgetown University SCS. In focus today, responding to a cyber attack. Today I'm joined by four students from our Analytics, Technology, and Security Master's programs. As part of DC Cyber Week, they have participated in an exercise to determine how an organization might respond to a cybersecurity attack. Our students are Jennifer, Rob, Michael, and John. Thanks, all of you, for being here. Thank you. Uh, first question is for Jennifer. Uh, the question is, can you provide a summary of the scenario that you and the team worked on over the last several weeks? Absolutely, Scott. So it's a fairly exciting and relevant scenario. It's about a cyber attack in the oil and gas industry. And we've learned that one of our suppliers has been compromised, and a backdoor has been implemented into the firmware of a device on our system. So we have to figure out how to respond and in the meantime, we also get hit with a ransomware attack. And there's several scenarios that follow. We're figuring out how do we respond to these? How do we figure out what to do? And what are the next steps? And who might it be who's attacking us? Great. Thanks for the summary. Uh, Rob, you're next. A uh, question for you is based on your experience, how realistic was this scenar scenario uh, in terms of the cyberspace in general? Yeah, I would say it's very realistic, honestly. So attacks on the critical infrastructure are nothing new. They've been happening for years and years. It's always been a high value target. And for the specific scenario, the individual components of it are all things that you've seen before, sometimes as recently as just a few months ago or last year. So nothing here was really a stretch, I would say. It's all very, very probable, and sometimes it's backed up by evidence of having taken place. Great, thanks. By the way, I totally agree. Really neat to see a scenario that covers a bunch of different areas, not just technical, but policy and, and even ethical questions. So really, really cool scenario. All right, uh, Michael, you're next. Um, question for you is, how has Georgetown helped you prepare for this kind of scenario? Absolutely. Georgetown, our program really equipped us with the tools that we needed to do the intelligence gathering, obtain the evidence to be able to make those conclusions. In addition, throughout our program, they taught us a lot of structured analytic techniques to make sure that our conclusions are defensible, transparent, and reproducible. Great, thanks. And John, your last uh, question for you is, what part of this project, this, this use case scenario, um, did you find most challenging? Sure, uh, so me personally, the most challenging thing was just uh, the fact that it's a completely different uh, field uh, that I've, I've never worked in. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I saw it as an opportunity to, to learn and to grow in a, in a new way. Um, and also, um, the amount of work uh, that we put into this was, uh, it was difficult to juggle that with our, our work schedules and with our class schedules at the same time. So uh, there's a couple of different challenges there. Great. Thanks to all of you. I can't wait to learn more about your response to the scenario later on today. Um, looking forward to the discussion that goes with that. And I know this is extra work for all of you, and it's, uh, it's a lot of work. So thanks again for doing that. And thanks to everybody out there for joining us. Um, stay tuned for more from the LG Digital Studio at Georgetown SES.